Hola, como esta? Muy bien. Honestly, it's the most amazing thing that um, I've ever been a part of. Um, it gives an inside look to our everyday lives, you know, on and off the court. And um, the OG crew is, is pretty incredible. The, the way they catch, capture our moments and, and capture the things that we do throughout our season, is, it's unbelievable. It's like you just want to keep it on DVD forever. You don't ever want to lose them. They're, they're kind of one of the things where you just cherish because, you know, once this thing's over, I won't be on Open Gym no more. <laughs> I'm Kalo, welcome to Open Gym. That's why he's so crazy now. He was very easy going, baby. He was cool. Growing up, that's probably when the fire, <laughs> he kept it all in when he was a kid. So he wasn't one of the kids that ran around. He was chilling. He was really relaxed. Actually, I made the decision to pretty much have Kyle on my own. They have the same father. So I knew he wasn't that good the first time. So I really wasn't expecting much the second time. So. I already had it in my head that, you know, I was going to be mom and dad, and I was good. Like, I was comfortable with that. I had a good job, and I was okay with it. He was just such a good, happy baby, like, just even being in the hospital. I just knew he was just something different. He was a little personality already then, always smiled, always laughing. No matter what my day was like, I would come home, and he would be able to make me laugh or smile, just... He was just, he really was a good baby, good kid, just fun to have around, full of energy. Always in a good way, no, not in a bad way. And he could play football, he could play little baseball, he could, you know, play a little basketball. He started playing like an organized um, baseball at like seven. And we knew then that that was going to be, that was hilarious because whenever he got a hit, he never stopped at first. He never, the ball could be in the first baseman's glove and he kept going. So we knew that he was just going to be something, you know, special. And then the guy that coached him in baseball wanted him to play basketball. And that's kind of like how that, he started playing organized basketball at about seven. Good jump by Kyle. Kyle driving in the inside and the runner is good. I think he always took it seriously. Because when he was little, like he would say he was going play, he was going to be in the NBA. We'd we'll walk through the house, you know, with the basketball move, with the air ball and stuff like that. So he really fell in love with, with basketball. And then he started playing AAU at 11. I think that's when it started getting kind of like real as far as him pursuing it as, all right, this is what I'm gonna do. You know, no baseball, no football, this is what I'm gonna do. Between his sophomore and junior year, it was crazy. He went from being like a good player to I was like, whoa. And I remember playing on one-on-one, -on -one. like I remember literally playing on one-on-one -on -one before that. I used to be able to beat him, back him down. And I remember playing him, and he was blowing by me, but he was like over the rim, and I was just looking like, Man, this is crazy. Like, I wouldn't tell him that, but 15, 16, sophomore to junior year, it was different. He, he became really different, really good, really confident, really fast. He's had to fight at every level from 11 years old. You know, playing on a team where you are clearly better than other players, but because of circumstances, dad coaching the team or whatever, you know, you had to... Wait your, wait your time. Same thing with high school. You know, he went to high school as a, you know, freshman should have been on varsity, but because they didn't put freshmen on varsity back then, and then going to Doherty, it was seniors there. You know, it was, he just always had to fight, going into Villanova. Going, he just always had to fight. So I think that was probably the most difficult, watching him have to make his way. Lowry back at home. Oh, baby, how about that? Always plays well here in Philadelphia, doesn't he? The Villanova product. 
The Memphis Grizzlies select Kyle Lowry of Villanova University. I was glad that he made the decision that he made, but made it confidently. Like, it wasn't like I'm coming out and I'm scared or I don't really know. I didn't feel as crazy because he was like, I'm going. I know I can do this. This is what I've been working for. I can, I'm good. It's Kyle Lowry, eight on the shot clock. He'll stop and pop from 20 feet and it's good. Kyle Lowry with his first NBA basket. He had had, I think, what would have been his breakout game. I think it was nine games into the season. Uh, and the next night, I believe he broke his wrist. And, you know, that was tough. That was hard. And the next season, they brought in Mike Conley, which was kind of, you know, you knew what it was. Like you draft somebody, you number, I think Mike was drafted, what, three, four? You know, if they want to draft from that high, you know that it's not going to, you know, sit well and you're drafted 24th. So, um, no, that was that was tough. Um, and he was young. You know, he was 18, maybe 19, living away from home, trying to get well, deal with all this kind of stuff. He went to Houston, he was a lot happier. He got time, and, you know, but he still had his struggles there with just different players. Aaron was there, so he kind of split time. And you know, I know he probably thought eventually I'm better than Aaron. And, that played itself out, then Goran, it was always something. So that was the other thing, the first five, six, it was always, even when he first got there, it was Jose. It was just, so it was always different. A lot of it was growing pains, like him just having to figure out how to handle this league. It's not one. It's not one word that can define it. It's, 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 uh, I think it's an attitude. It's uh, pride, uh, respect. Uh, you know, grittiness, hard nosed uh, athletes, athlete players to come out of the city. You know, it's uh, you always know that you're representing uh, for your city and, and where you come from. With the attitude there is a lot of determination, hard work, and that that was especially in my era coming up and before me. That was the attitude. Just. Just play as hard as you could and not take anything for granted and play like you said, like it's your last game. You know, it's always tough to give a, a, a good picture without going into you know the graphic details, but you know, the drugs, violence, you know, um, the, the rough neighborhoods, the beat ups, you know, the jump things, you know, all those things is uh, a part of you know where I'm from. Uh, but you know, I got a chance, you know, I always got a chance to play against a lot of the, you know, guys growing up who were Philadelphia guys. But all those guys, you know, they, they helped me and, and molded me into a better player and a tougher player. I met Kyle his uh, senior year in high school. I heard about him, but I really didn't know. I was, I was just, my whole career was just winding down, but Villanova's recruiting. So I started paying more attention to him. And like I say, he was, he was, a, he was a strong willed kid. You know, he was, a, he, was, he was a little immature, but he was young. And, you know, I was kind of, you know, off the wagon a little bit, you know, I was kind of a little bit crazy, what they would say, you know, kind of not the, uh, the, the kid that just falls into place. But I saw his determination. I saw how he played hard. I saw how he was determined to come to Villanova and take over and be a big part, which he ended up becoming, becoming that person after ACL injury that same year. So that was unbelievable. And I just started taking a liking to him. I knew that he had some rough spots. But we all did. And now, you know, he's just like a big brother. You know, now in my career, it's been the last nine years that he's been helping me. You know, two years I've been over seven in my NBA career. He's been helping me and helping me groom to be a better player and getting better. And I work out with him all summer. And he just, he just helped me every bit of every day. He took me from being an immature kid to teaching me how to become a man, helping me understand that, you know, the things are, are a blessing and things are, you have to learn to accept that things, you know, are going to happen, but you got to make the best of the situation. Now I look at it, I would say like a big brother, but I, I'd rather have more of a friendship because it's a mutual thing. Like I respect him, he respects me, and I see, I see him, I see him becoming a good young man. It's going to help it a lot because I think, well, I know he brings that. I say like that de determination. He's not going to come in the locker room. If the team is down 20 points, 
and not think he's going to win. And that's, that attitude is infectious. And that's something I think, not Toronto, I don't think they haven't, haven't had it before because Toronto fights. No matter if we're a good team or bad team, at the end of the day, we never really came down and laid down. But Kyle will be that vocal piece. Like, this is what we can do, let's go. And he's, like I said, he's gonna be in your face. And some people, they, they, they accept that, and some people don't. So he's gonna have to find that even meet that medium where he knows when to scale down a little bit. But he's gonna be, he's gonna be a good leader, along, along with Jose. I think Jose is still that person on this team where he has experience and he has the leadership qualities, but Kyle just comes from a different, has a different temperament. I think, I think actually, and I always say it to my friends and people around, Kyle is one of the last. I think, I think now today the kids, the, the, the young players, they have a different, have a different attitude, have a different mentality where a lot of things are given to them. And that's just me being an older guy and just looking from the outside. But Kyle has an attitude where he's a take take. Like, I'm going to take everything that I want. Anything I get, I deserve. And that's what I mostly respect about Kyle, like watching him from afar when he was younger. He had a, he had a hard-nosed mentality. It reminded me of when we were coming up as kids and not so much as the kids today in Philadelphia. Well, it was very humbling for him to say that because, you know, I fall in line behind him. You know, to be honest, that's one of the guys who, he is a Philly player. He is that gritty, grimy guy who's going to go and play and all he wants to do is win. And for this team, you know, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring a toughness and a, and a, and a, a swagger that, you know, we ain't going to get punked out there. We're going to go out there and we're going to play hard no matter what. And nobody's going to come in our gym and just beat up on us. And we're going to go into people's gym and try to beat up on them. You know, it's going to be a respect level that we're going to gain. Today, in large part because of research conducted at St. Jude, the cure rate is 94%. And that's because in large part to the research that's happening here. What we're doing today is we're directing a shoot for Mr. Kyle Lowry and a St. Jude patient. Uh, the perfect, idea perfect. is basically you know that um, we're going to have a competition between uh, NBA players and patients to see who can put on the best St. Jude fan costume. We know that uh, St. Jude patients love M the NBA and they obviously dress a lot in NBA gear, but in this situation, they're going to dress players in St. Jude awesome. gear and then they're going to compete to see who has the best one. So that's kind of what we're doing here and hopefully it'll be a lot of fun for the patients and, and uh, also something uh, fun for the NBA players to do. Scene one, take one. And action. It's your main man, Kyle Lowry, in the house at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And I'm here with my new little buddy, Tamara. And action. I'm a big fan of St. Jude's, and today, Tamara's going to help me prove it by turning me into a St. Jude fan for life. Kyle Lowry became the undisputed leader of this team. And he's played great. And everybody was saying, oh, it's just for a contract, but Kyle has gone over the top in terms of his consistency. And those guys follow him, they believe in him, and uh, you know, he is the unquestioned leader. So your line is, let's do it. Can you say that? Let, let me see it. Let's do it. <laughs> That's, perfect. That's perfect. That is beautiful. <laughs> and action. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, y'all rest for a minute. Y'all rest. <laughs> Take a rest, cut. I'll tell you what, they build a second. Got me sweating. <laughs> Woo, it's hot. Lowry's hurt everybody, uh, you know, so it's not just us. He's just a, he's an all-star, and um, even though he, I don't think he's been a part of that. I, I've always looked at him that way. At least the last few years up here, um, he's a big shot taker, tough. Um, you know, he, when he's going left, you know he's going to pull up, and he still does it. Still knocks down shots, and that that to me is the sign of a great player when you know what he's going to do. You know, I know him from, you know, being back home and we were together for a couple of years when he was in college. Yeah, I try to help, help him out as much as I could and, you know, I'm happy for him, for who he's become and who he can be. I think he can get even get better and he, he's proven it because he's getting better every year. You think he's an all-star? I do. I thought he was an all-star last year and I think he's an all-star this year. Okay, just put that over. Okay, perfect. Yeah, now that's smooth. Right. Yeah, there you go. Put that on him. Oh man, he's looking good already. Now that is a smooth outfit if I've ever seen one. How I look, y'all? Wonderful. Oh, amazing. And action. What do you think? 
I love it. Vince, Gordon, and the rest, you guys are going down. All right, let me see, like, some dance moves. Y'all got some dance moves? Chicken Chicken Right at the camera, right at the camera. Some dance moves. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! Oh, robot! Surprise, robot. Uh oh! Cut, 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 cut! Come on, Kyle, give me some emotion in this one, please, please, please! From the top, action! Go to stjudes.org/slash fan for life. Put in your email address, and you can win a signed jersey. Number one. Man, unbelievable. She was awesome. You know, my butt a little sore from sitting the bench on. I don't know if I sit the bench on a long coach, so just keep that in mind. But uh, uh, for me to be able to do this is unbelievable. Um, yeah, the, the passion and the effort that these the, the, the research hospital puts into you know, these kids and to be able to have her be next to me and, and to be um, that excited to be there, is that's what, it, that's what really matters. Starters are announced tomorrow. What would that mean to you to be an all-star starter? Um, I don't even know. Honestly, I wouldn't even know what to say. I'd be shocked, but um, we'll see. You know, I'm not really banking on it. I'm just going out there, and I know I know the Canadian fans did a great job of voting for me, and I appreciate them. And uh, you know, hopefully they did their job, and you know something special happens from it. It's a blue collar town. They 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 respect you if you work hard. They respect you if you do your job, you do it the right way. As long as you work hard, they can live with the results. And I've always appreciated that about this town. Kyle is one of the toughest guards in the NBA, if not the toughest. Uh, that's kind of like a staple with the uh, Philadelphia guards. They're tough and they get after you defensively. And they just, they're winners. Like they know how to win, they know how to run a team. And Kyle is no different. Kyle was like that ever since he was in high school at Dockery. I started watching him um, going into Villanova. And, you know, Jay Wright, a coach that used to coach against me when I was in college, he was at Hofstra. Um, he just raved about this kid. And I'm like, eh, you know, he doesn't do anything great. I don't see him jumping out of the gym. I don't see him shooting it from half court. He's, like, like, he's the toughest guy I've ever been around. And he knows how to win. And you, you see it in the NBA. Washington's second been straight. Fantastic all year, John Wall. Congratulations. Leads in, assists, leads in assists, number two in steals. Has 23 double doubles, the most among guards in the NBA. He is in the Come on. Come on. Oh. Yo. Every time we have an event, uh, we're watching the fight. I'm always in that room. I forget it's a little bit faster than the other one. So we always get in trouble because we react before Kyle sees it. But I was so excited. I couldn't hold back. So I, I apologize, Kyle. <laughs> he is joined in the backcourt wow, by a Lowry. That deserves well deserves Kyle Lowry. Hey! Can't even. I can only imagine what that feel like. It's, it probably feels like a dream for real. But I mean, it's. I'm, I'm proud of him. You know, I've seen the work he's put in. So it's been fun watching. It's like my uh, it's my second, you know, All Star I've, I've played with. So uh, it, it helps everybody, not just you know, just Kyle. But it helps you know the young guys behind him. And uh, I'm just excited for him. I mean, he deserves it. There's no description for how 
I feel and um, how appreciative I am of my teammates being able to hear, be here, my family being there. It's, it, it's kind of it was shocking, nervous, but at the same time, um, it's awesome, man. It's awesome. I mean, it really obviously couldn't play it out any, any better than him being here, being in his home, having uh, Carter being able to be with him when he got the announcement. I mean, he's worked so hard then over the summer, and, you know, Carter sacrifices that having to leave to go, you know, work out, and, and it's all paid off, so perfect. When I re-signed here, I knew that I wasn't just playing for a city. I knew I was playing for a whole country, and I think, uh, you know, I think these guys, the, the country has gotten behind me, Prime Minister, all the celebrities, Drake, Bieber, all, everybody that's been um, supporting the Raptors and, and pushing us, and, and I think it's just, you know, now people are starting to realize how powerful, you know, playing in a country can get behind you. I'm really proud of him. I don't tell him ever, but I'm really proud of him, and we're proud of our decision to come back to Toronto, um, thanks to the, the good fans of Canada for making this happen, and it's great. opportunity he had when the Raptors made the decision to trade Rudy Gay and more importantly when they made the decision to move a guy like Jose Calderon it finally became his team and I think for the first time in his professional career you had a chance to see the player that people here in Philadelphia knew in high school Cardinal Doherty and at Villanova University where he was the guy and I really believe one of the reasons why to both of your points why he has resonated with this city is because, you know, he's from a tough town, Philadelphia. Yep. He is somebody that takes charge. He is genuine. This is who I am, and this is how I play. And Lowry with it across the timeline. Lowry, he's going to take this three and make the three from Mount Burrow. And that's why the guys in the All-Star game, folks, forget the statistical stuff you see on paper. It's the timing of the plays he makes are so good. And the Raptors down by five. 3.42 to go. Here's Kyle. Hand in the face and the three. He connects from deep. What a big time bucket. He's got 10 in the quarter. Under three minutes left. Philadelphia native using the screen. Here's Lowry. Kyle's going to step back to three. Yes, he just did that in his hometown. Ties it at 81. He's got 13. You think this man's going to allow himself to be denied? He's not going down without a fight. Look at this quarter here. This is why an entire nation has fallen in love with this guy. You know, it's funny. In the city of Toronto, people adore a guy like Wendell Clark, who was a tremendous player for the Leafs. Kyle Lowry has those attributes. Luke Bob, Boutte, shot doesn't go. Patterson with a rebound. Patterson, that's his 13th rebound. And Jack, the Toronto Raptors come away with a victory. A much needed victory. The Toronto Raptors improve now to 28 and 15. Lowry doing it here in his hometown after being named an all star for the first time last night, voted in by the fans. You know, they wanted me to be more aggressive, and I, I couldn't go out here and, and let my teammates down, especially being at home. And after uh, last night, I couldn't, couldn't let us lose this game. But right now, we take any win, no matter where is it at, you know, against who, we got to get every win we can get. Hey, any words for Daddy at all? Any words for me? What do you got? <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. Hi. All right, we got it. You done, Carter? Yeah. Yeah. Stop. Ah, ah, ah. Don't do that. Kyle, the ball movement has been phenomenal for you. What, what's really going into that ball movement so frequently and so consistently? I think that was the, one of the biggest things that 
the, the organization, the coaching staff, uh, beside Bobby, they wanted to do is to, to lighten the load on myself and DeMar so we're teams um, can't really just focus in on us and really get ready for playoff basketball to change up what we've done the last few years um, to try to be more successful. Uh, and I think it's just a tribute to the guys shooting the ball with confidence. And everyone's taking shots. And, you know, you make shots, you get assists, and the ball moves even more. And the ball finds good, good energy. I know it sounds like cliche, but it really is like that. There he is. <laughs> Snow pants, check, check. Gloves, check. I feel great. I mean, um, I've always kept myself in, in, in top shape and take care of my body. So um, I think the, the long-term effect, I'll feel it later. And right now, we're still so early into the season. I don't really start to feel those things in you know, 40 games, 50 games. Then you ask me. I think the schedule's been so good where we play three games in 13 days that the mental isn't as much you know when you get that mental break is more important like sometimes to just have that mental break okay you only got three games in 13 days you don't have to prepare for four games five nights travel 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 now it's kind of like we were home for 13 days we worried about three teams and three teams only within 13 days that's pretty good my ipad my ipad my, my ipad my ipad oh. okay. My iPad. My iPad. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Say good morning, Carla. Come here and put a shirt on, Ken. Shirt on, Ken. No, I'm good. Major day so far? I'm gonna try to make it a little bit better. You know, we do this every year. We, we pick great schools and you guys have written some great letters and we were touched and moved by it. And, um, you know, it's, it's a great honor for me and my family to be here with you guys. But um, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. And uh, you guys are gonna go to Toys R Us with me and uh, spend some money and get some toys and have some fun. So we're gonna hop on this bus and uh, go have some fun. And, Spend some money and get some toys. Anybody, y'all ready to go? Y'all wanna go? Yeah. I don't know if y'all excited enough. I need to hear some, I need to hear some like, something. Y'all ready, ready to go? Yeah! You're amazing, you're so happy. Thank you, appreciate it. No, you're not dreaming. This is live and real. This is live and real. It's an opportunity to give back, and you know the more, most important thing in this world is to be able to give back. You know we're fortunate enough to be able to give back to our community that we that we live in and that support us. So we, we do it. We give back every opportunity, every chance we can. Can't beat it, man. You can't beat it. I mean, it's just it's just it's just like you just see the overwhelming you know, joy that they have and it changes their lives, you know, they, they see what I can do and I give back and one day hopefully they can give, they can do and give back to, to their communities and the kids of the, uh, their future. As parents yourself, what about the message that you, your, your kids see that you guys are giving back to, right? Like how important is that for you to pass that on to your children? It's very important. I mean, the kids see, you know, you know, we're very fortunate um, to have just the basic things and everyone doesn't have that. So we try to explain that to them and, you know, let them see that, you know, today we're out here and we're giving back to some kids that definitely deserve it. They're out there doing good things and, you know, we, we're giving back to them for what they've done.
Yeah, it's landed in Philly. Um, took a little bit earlier playing. I don't know how much a difference it made, but we got here. And, um, you know, Kyle had everybody over to the house. Uh, or I don't even know if you can call this thing a house. Um, but, you know, come over, team, you know, whole team's here, organization, everybody's here. Just had a, a good night, you know, a good, great meal, and a beautiful, beautiful home. So, obviously, you're in you know, somebody's hometown. Uh, for them to have you over their house is pretty big. So, like this stuff that we had at our old house that you probably can see, like this is all like the older house. Like, you all, all, this is a part of the old house. This Carter's room, he bought that for Christmas two years ago. Wow. All these cars. Karen, he's got his full, his own little closet in there. Full, full closet. All the cars you can want. Jeez, this is dope, man. <laughs> I know. You getting ideas? Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, I want one for myself. <laughs> He's like, I got an idea for me. <laughs> so this is the playroom. Oh, oh, man. So this is where they man. be at, like, literally most of the day. Sweet. When, in, in the winter, when it's cold. It is. It's cool <laughs> me right here. We had a guy coming in right spray paint from New York. So he spray painted this whole wall right here. Mm -hmm. Carter and Cameron's kingdom. <laughs> well, they be dunking on this and everything, right? It's, it's, it's hooked into one of the beams. Yeah. And there you go. So, like, yeah, we redid everything. This, this, is, this is dope, man. Master bedroom. I don't know why I should have nice. Why are you showing up now? <laughs> no, I was just shutting it because I ain't yeah, guessing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, he's I, I, I probably was just shutting it down. <laughs> 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 I like it, I like it. Nice, man. Freddie about to take this and put it all in his new house. Hey, take a note. Notice how he said Freddie. light on out there? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Coaches, coaches don't roll. <laughs> coaches don't roll like that. Yeah, I like that. So, so like, we redid this whole bathroom. I mean, it's kind of hard to explain mm -hmm. it. You, you really won't get it. So she got her own bathroom. I got my own bathroom. It's her closet. You got it. looks like a store, don't it? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a, when you go to those high end stores. Yeah, I remember these right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Old school. Well, not that old, but now I got folded back up. <laughs> See that? You'll see that right there. Look yeah, don't you got how big his jersey is. Jersey. <laughs> hey, well, I got two to see. Number three? Yeah, I'm number three when I first got here. You are? Yep. Ah. That's why I changed it. I was terrible. What are these? It's crazy. I mean, he doesn't have to do this. You know, there's, we could have easily just stayed at the hotel like we do every other city. He don't have to do this. Um, so it's pretty special for him to go out of his way to do that for, for us as teammates and coaches and staff um, to open up your home to anybody. Um, but I mean, you got a house like this. I'm sure you would, you'd like to show it off a little bit. Uh, but it's still, it's, it's, it's special, man. And, and obviously, we're thankful to have a guy like that, you know, be our leader. And it's just, it's kind of ironic because you know everybody thinks he's a jerk and and you know whatever else comes with that. But for him to open up the house, everybody just you know shows the kind of teammate he is. Two four four. Two four four. Man, why the jump is still broke? I don't know. So this is my, my favorite picture in the house. That I, this is the only reason it's made. That's her mom. That's, and it was that was that was actually in the game. Like, that wasn't playing. Yeah. That's probably my favorite picture in the house. Wow. I didn't know she played. Yeah, she was good. She over a thousand. Like, we got a barbershop. shop. Let's really actually see. <laughs> she got her hair done out here. Everything. Judge the quality of the quality. Judge 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 the quality
<laughs> you know you do it when, when you get some stuff in your house you don't know you like, don't even know I, I think that's a TV I, I think that's a TV you know he obviously rides and dies for, for us as teammates and, and you see that you know obviously with things like this uh, open up his house for us um, having us out so he's you know super uh, loyal to teammates and friends and family and and uh, you get to see that a little bit here tonight. What's up, man? What's up? Cool. What's up? 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 You walk past me too. I was trying to get in. Oh wait! Give me, give me, give me. Uh, that feels good. That feels good. That feels good. That feels good. I'll let you in the car. Man, all the stuff we put it inside right now. We put everything up. Yeah. Yeah, you got like a park. <laughs> you said what? <laughs> I take my kids to the park. Right. You got a park. <laughs> I think you here. bought the park. <laughs> you bought the park. <laughs> right. Oh damn! Man. Did you? Yeah. From me. It's like the neighborhood park. I just better than it. Hey, if we had this in Africa, we, we can have camps here. Trying to rock our camps. This the this the big boy court, the NBA line. Then I got the the one over there. We keep it as uh, the kids court. Which one? Which one? This the kids court right here. This this all like and then we have a tennis court, but they took the net down. So this is all like two four. Oh, we play. We have tournaments here. Yeah. But yeah, like this too. We be out here. So who's we? Me, family, wife, kids. Yeah. Well, that's the crib. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. You're good. Thanks. Thank you. That's pretty tight security, Kyle. Super tight. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Oh, man. There we go. Oh, thank you. Kyle Lowry from Philadelphia attended university in Philadelphia. Spent two years at Villanova University. The second team, all Big East. He entered the draft after his sophomore season for the Villanova Wildcats. What's up, coach? <laughs> you see that outfit? I didn't think it was you. Yeah, that's right. I was, hey, Chris, how are you? Everything's well? All's good, man. Thank you, you so much. Good. Everything's looking well. It's a special day, and one that we've been looking forward to for a long, long time. Kyle, thank you so much. This gift uh, is generous. Um, it's a game changer for our university to have your name associated uh, with a brand new fitter and pavilion to get our players to come in there on an everyday basis and be inspired by your name and all that you do as one of the best basketball players in the world, but the gold medalist and, and all that you've accomplished, but leave that aside. What, what makes you special, Kyle, is the fact that you're connected to us. And I know you're a text away, you're a phone call away, you're around all the time. And we know how much you love your alma mater, so can't thank you enough. Kyle has done so much to make us proud. Uh, I'm, I'm obviously proud of him as a basketball player. Um, I'm, I'm far more proud of him as a man, as a husband, as a father. We, we see it uh, every day. Um, in our in our basketball family, we see him with his wife. We see him with his kids, his mom, his brother. He's got a, uh, an AAU program. We support young people. We he just lives it. And we we have a saying. Kyle lives by this: that your actions speak so loud that I can't hear what you say. And a generous gift like this is really impactful to the entire university, to all athletes. But how you live your life is more impactful. So I know as a representative of the university that I am supposed to be truly grateful for uh, a, a million dollar gift, which I am. But I'm far more grateful that uh, at 6.45 in June and July mornings, um, when our players walk into the Davis Center for a 7 a.m. practice, they see Kyle Lowry, a Villanova alum and an NBA all-star 
drenched in sweat, finishing his workout that he started at 5.30, that impacts our program in an even bigger way uh, than a million dollars. It's kind of easy to give back to a, a great university to help me get to a point where I'm able to even give back as much as I'm able to give back. Um, it's not about the money, it's just about the fact that I'm able to give back to this great university that helped me get to the point in my life where I am 31 years old, three-time All-Star, Olympian, gold medalist, wife, kids, married. I know, it's crazy, right? <laughs> crazy. Never thought of this from a 17-year-old kid. I know all y'all here know how I am. It's not the young ones. I'm, I'm pure. I've been all, great all my whole life. I've been great my whole life. But no, never a problem ever. Um, coach, coach always pushed me. Um, to be a better man. And it wasn't about basketball. I never had a conversation with you about basketball ever, except for when I entered the draft. And he was like, go. That's the only conversation we had about basketball. And it was one of the best things that's ever happened to me because it was more about being a man and being a, a, a legit man. I say that all the time. I still use that phrase to the day. Um, but I, I truly believe in once you're a Wildcat, you're always a Wildcat. Uh, yeah, that's the plan right now. The plan is to try to get going, see how I feel, go downstairs, get loose, and uh, go from there. I got the opportunity to get back to my alma mater, and um, I got an opportunity to get them better and, and grow uh, and grow that organization at the program. Um, and, and then tonight I'm getting an award that um, I never thought I would get. And um, I'm, I'm able to get that because of the, just being here, being from here, giving back to the community, me and my wife, and doing the things that we do uh, to help the community grow. Can you truthfully be said that Philadelphia is one of the great basketball cities in the country? probably the greatest. Just as an example, there are currently 10 players in the NBA from just this area. <laughs> Certainly the best of these is with us here tonight. I refer to Kyle Lowry, the recipient of our 2018 Native Son Award. He is the state of Philadelphia in that body of his. And he's, his, his heart's the size of that state. I remember when he first came to Toronto and he was kind of quiet, he was a little aloof. I'm not so sure Kyle Lowry even wanted to be in Toronto, but I remember distinctly the night that the Raptors traded Jose Calderon away and suddenly it became Kyle Lowry's team. And I remember talking to him that night and the, his eyes started to twinkle a little bit and he realized, yes, there was no more sharing anymore. It was his team and he took it over and that's the kind of guy he is. But Kyle, Kyle's come a, a tremendously long way. I mean, if you think about it, you know, I, he, he's gone through so much of one trying to prove himself, try to try to prove that he belongs in a league, try to prove that he's a he, he's a starter in this league. Um, and, and you know, everybody's everybody carries their own baggage. Everybody comes from somewhere. Everybody deals with certain things. And you know, Kyle had his, and Kyle's worked through a lot of his his issues he's had, uh, and continues to like all of us. And and he's just, I, I think, taken himself to a, to a great place. I mean, you look at his play, his understanding of the game, his leadership all the things he's got to do. Um, Kyle, Kyle's become a special player. He, he's become a special player in the history of this franchise. Um, and, and really, if you think about it, coming to this franchise, there were a lot of question marks about him. And, and, and I think he's put them all to bed. Truly, Kyle Lowry is not only an outstanding player, but a person we are proud to say is one of us. Accordingly, it is my special pleasure tonight to present our prestigious Native Son Award to basketball star Kyle Lowry. by the Toronto Raptors and the celebration is on all across Canada is Urban Liso. Congratulations Canada.
Congratulations. And O Canada, Larry Tannenbaum, George Cope, Ed Rogers, Masai Ujiri, Coach Nick Nurse. Congratulations. Basketball has come full circle in Canada. It was invented by a Canadian. The first NBA game was in Toronto. And now an NBA championship. Your 2019 NBA champions, the Toronto Raptors. The latest is I can confirm the Adrian Wojnarowski report. The Toronto Raptors and Kyle Lowry have indeed agreed to a one-year contract extension. However, the team has not yet made the contract official as of yet. Nice. <laughs> so you got the Reebok stuff here too. Yeah, um, it's probably the same office since we own them. Yeah. That is dope. Yeah, this is sick. No, I think this. Oh, AI? Can I take that picture? But which is that? The will to win. Uh, unbelievable heart. Um, obviously, his emotions are one on his sleeve. He's, he's, he's a fighter. Um, we've had our ups and downs in this organization, and um, that's every organization. Um, never been uh, anyone that's been, uh, he hasn't never been disrespectful. Um, always uh, just tough, and you, the toughness translated to the basketball court. And trust me when I say if I felt that Kyle was not um, the right person here, um, it, it was easy to do something with him, you know. So much for coming. Thank you uh, for it's having a, me. It means a lot for us. We know you guys are busy. It's a long flight. You're a little bit jet lagged. Yeah. You have two important matches ahead of you. But it means a lot for. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> it means a lot for for the folks here at Adidas Japan that you, uh, you. visit us. Of course. Uh, especially ahead of the new NBC, uh, NBA season. Especially as champion. Yes, yes. Uh, and especially also ahead of the uh, Tokyo Olympics. Yes, and that yes. You won the gold medal in uh, in Rio. Sixteen. Yeah. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. To me, listen, it's no accident that, that he's the only one. You know, he's the guy that's been here for six years. Um, you know, what he brings to this team, his heart, his, his leadership, his just complete, um, you know, take no prisoners approach is, is, is really impressive. And then to just think about, you know, the personal things he's overcome, um, putting aside, you know, uh, his upbringing, but really just on the basketball court and getting drafted in Memphis and getting traded and getting traded multiple times and people counting him out and, and people saying that, you know, he's not a winner and he couldn't be a leader and, and, you know, he wasn't good enough and he was too small. Can't really imagine the feeling that uh, you would have if, if, you know, you overcame all those doubters. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm wearing this tonight. I'm wearing it to the game tonight. Thank you. Thank you. I'm wearing, I'm wearing this to the game tonight. Pretty amazing, huh? Yeah, it's pretty dope. It's actually really dope. To see him play that way uh, in the NBA Finals or this year's playoffs after um, all the uh, critics of, of him and um, how sometimes he doesn't play well in the playoffs or little things, you know, he played with a um, with a torn ligament in his in his in his thumb and just fought all out uh, to get here. And um, to me, the heart and soul of the Toronto Raptors, uh, I, I would think one of the best players that ever wore a Toronto Raptors uh, uniform and, and continue to do it. Kyle Lowry. 
Curry will be the first Raptor to have his number retired, I believe, number seven. And then also, when they decide to have a Legends role like they do with the Toronto Maple Leafs, which I would imagine will happen sooner rather than later, he'll have a statue. Absolutely, and, and rightfully so. The best years of the Raptors have all coincided with Kyle Lowry.